Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your HTML emails out of Figma into Postmark automatically using the Emailify plugin. Um, so to get started, we can just jump into Figma and we'll just need to install the Emailify plugin by going to the Figma community, searching for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y. And if you click on the plugins tab, you'll see Emailify pop up and all you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side here and then you'll be ready to go. So to run the plugin we just right click anywhere on our Figma file go down to plugins and then click on Emailify and that'll run the plugin we just installed. So I've already designed an email using the Emailify plugin. Um, if you haven't already done that you might want to check out one of our other YouTube videos which covers this in detail uh, and it'll show you how to design your own emails using the Emailify plugin. Um, but for today, I'm just going to be assuming that you've already designed your email and you just want to get it out of Figma and into Postmark. So to do that, we just go ahead and click on the export button in the header of the plugin. And by default, you'll notice that it's set to HTML uh, as an export option. So we basically want to change that option by clicking on the drop down. And instead of downloading it to our computer as an HTML package, we actually want to click on one of these upload to platform options. Uh, and for today's tutorial, we're just going to be uploading into Postmark. So if you go ahead and click on the Postmark option, and you'll notice that reveals a new input field down here, and that's basically asking for your Postmark API key. Um, so if you click on that link, that'll show you how to get to that page. Um, but I've already logged in to Postmark. So in the browser, after you log into Postmark, and just click on your Servers tab, and you've probably got a few servers or maybe just one um, so I'll just click on mine which is just one so I'll click on my server and then that's going to bring me to my Postmark server page the individual server and all you need to do is click on the API tokens tab up here so click on that and you should already have an API token in there so you can just click on that token and that will copy it to your clipboard um, you can also generate a new one if you need to but today I'm just going to be using the one that's already there and copying that so I've definitely copied that and now I'm jumping back into my Figma file going back to the Emailify plugin clicking on this input field and just pasting that in there using command V um, but you can use uh, control C control V if you're on uh, Windows so I've just pasted in my postmark API key into the API key field um, in the plugin and so that's ready to go now um, that's all you need to do to, uh, to authenticate it. So now I've got my emails uh, ready to go. I'm happy with my subject line uh, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna be uploading one. And now that I've got my API key in there, all I need to do is click on this upload to postmark button. So I'll go ahead and click on that now. And this is gonna generate all of the HTML for me automatically. Uh, it's gonna export the image assets and upload them. And then it's gonna automatically send that HTML directly to my postmark uh, account. Um, so it's just finished. It's telling us that our Postmark template has been uploaded and we can view that by logging into our Postmark account, clicking on server, then clicking on the templates tab. Um, so I'm already logged in. So I'm just going to jump back into my browser, go back to my Postmark account. So it told us we have to click on our servers tab, click on the server that we got the API key from. And then it said to click on the templates tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and there we go so you can see that's our template that's just been uploaded from the plugin um, it's just been uploaded into our postmark templates list so if i go ahead and click on that template uh, you can see here that it's got our subject line that we included um, it's got all of our html so this has all been inlined you don't need to worry about running it through any extra css processor or inliner or anything like that all the codes there ready to go uh, and then we can click on the preview tab to get an actual HTML preview up and we can see here it's exported everything the way that we designed it in Figma um, so this is all real HTML text and uh, the images which have been uploaded and all of that sort of stuff um, so that's basically it that's how you can really easily upload your email HTML email templates from Figma into Postmark um, using the Emailify plugin and if you have multiple emails in your design, it'll upload any of the emails that you check. So you can you can upload a few at a time if you've got some different email designs that you want to get into Postmark. Um, they'll just show up in your templates list. So 
the other thing worth noting is that if I do upload the email again, um, it's just going to create a new version of it. So you'll see um, a new version pop up and it'll probably have a dash one at the end of this little, um, this little sort of URL name down here. Um, and the reason for that is it doesn't actually override the template each time um, because you can actually make changes uh, if you wanted to make some manual edits in the HTML here and save that. Uh, we don't want to override that by accident by re-uploading the, the template. Um, so basically it'll create a new version. So if you've got uh, multiple versions in there, you can remove them just by clicking on the delete button if you don't want to keep them all in there or you can just leave them. Uh, but you can go ahead and delete those as well if you just want to tidy it up. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. It's very simple, uh, much easier than manually uh, going through that process of uh, uploading your HTML emails into Postmark after they've been exported. So um, yeah, if you're a Postmark user, definitely check out this uh, Figma integration. Uh, it should hopefully save you a bunch of time if you're in the habit of uploading emails regularly. Um, and yeah, hope you get some benefit from it with you or your team using Figma and Postmark. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.